Hi everyone. I'm Dr. Roman Datta. I work as a thoracic surgeon with the Max Healthcare. And uh, in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the empyema thoracis. As you all know that uh, it is a very common problem that we encounter in our surgical wards as well as medicine wards. And uh, most of the times, uh, if the effusions, which is the first uh, stage of an empyema thoracis is not managed appropriately or correctly, it can lead into the later complicated stage of empyema thoracis. To begin with, as you all uh, know that the empyema is uh, a collection of pus in the pleural cavity and uh, worldwide, the incidences of pleural space infection is increasing both in adult as well as in pediatric populations. Therefore, only it is uh, important that uh, our surgical residents uh, uh, know and understand the pathophysiology of the development of empyematuresis and also know how to treat it appropriately. Most of the times, the empyematuresis would be uh, treated with uh, antibiotic and uh, simple pleural space trainees. But uh, as uh, uh, we are going to discuss in the current lecture, if it is not uh, treated well in line with the accepted principles, then it can lead into a complicated pleural space empyema with uh, its attendant high morbidity and mortality. Therefore, uh, I uh, would uh, believe that uh, the surgical residents who are uh, using this conceptual surgery uh, forum, they would have a fairly good uh, idea about uh, the development that is the pathogenesis of empyema, as well as uh, the current accepted principles of the treatment that are applied while dealing with these kinds of patients. And I'm very hopeful that uh, the current lecture is going to be useful to not only to our surgical residents, but also to the practicing surgeons uh, who are interested in the thoracic surgical pathologies. Thank you.